That I can get married to her, he huff in annoyance with color face. And me ask why? You are major enough to get married, Jingle. We are getting old and we also wish to see your complete happy family. Also, we both families know each other since we were kids. And Hannah is young and pretty. In short, she is perfect girl for you. No matter who she is and how she looks, I just can't get married to her, he announced. Just give me a single convincing reason, so I won't ask you again to go and get married. He smirks because he know very well Jungkook is just running away from marriage and he don't have any particular reason to deny his father. Because she's annoying and I just hate her, he mumbles underneath his breath. That obviously his father didn't listen. Look at his father who was glaring him, so he cleared his throat. Dad, I am mm, a bit of slowly processing what he would say to his father now. So without thinking twice, he blurted out in stern voice, Dad, I can't marry to Hannah because I already have a girlfriend and I love her and only marry to her. Look at his father who was also glaring him with cold expressions. And he just gulped because he can't win against his dad if he found out about his lie. Mr. Jin cleared his throat. So all this time you have you were dating someone. Jin nods reluctantly. I see. What's her name? Where she lives. Actually, I just invite her on her this weekend. Yeah, it would be a great idea. He smiles. What? What's the hurry, Dad? I will introduce her to you later. No, this weekend I would love to meet my future daughter-in-law. Mr. John tripped happily as he was sure his son didn't have any girlfriend and he was just making things up himself. So, this time he wants Virgin Cook till he got married and time sooner. Jungkook groaned, but he didn't show it in his face, so he got caught. This is silly. But dad, I have to ask her if she's free or not. Just tell her. His in-laws wants to meet her. I'm sure she will come. Mr. Jion replied to Jungkook. He sighs. Oh, okay. Sure, then. See you on weekend. He busted a fake smile in his lips to bid farewell to his father. And as soon as Mr. Jion left his office, he ruffled his ears in frustration. Say he have a girlfriend. Where could he is going to find a girlfriend now? Also, there is no chance that Mr. John will let go of this matter now. If he didn't bring any girl home till this weekend, his brain was messed up and he already yelled at his two employees for no particular reason. So he cancelled his all meetings and left from his office. Named John and Cookman, six years old, hire of John Enterprises and CEO. Jungkook and tell me what you matter. Only can tell me problems I have. Then he took the gas from his hand and threw it in sink as they both were in Jimin's apartment. Now tell me what's the problem. Jungkook sighs. Fine, Hangi. Actually, you mess things up. Then he told what happened today. His conversation with his father and also that Mr. Chun is pestering him to get married. So just say that he have a girlfriend without thinking twice. So, but now, we're gonna find a girlfriend. I don't know, I'm just thinking to get downstairs and as first girl, I saw to be my girlfriend. And if she didn't say yes, I will beg her to just meet my parents once. Jimin Hyung, help me, what do I do now? My mind is not working, please. He mumbles with the power on his lips while holding Jimin's hands. Can't believe the call eligible bachelor is begging me. But anyways, coming to the point, Hannah is no match for you and I'm sure about it. Why don't we rent a professional girl to be a girlfriend? It's just a day, right? Jimin suggested. Don't you know my father? He will found out immediately if I got with that type of girl. And what if a background checked her? Not at all. There is no way possible. I won't take risk. It's true we need a girl, but innocent and modest, whom my dad never found out by any chance. Jimin sighs. Let's call everyone to be here and then discuss this matter with them. Jimin called his friends, aka BTS. And now they all were seated on couches in Jimin's living room discussing about this matter and finding a perfect girl that Jungkook introduced to his parents. What about Mary? Not in a billion years, Jungkook replied to his high 
select a girl already we're literally searching for you miss perfect from last two words come on dude just pick one from these after all you just need a fake girlfriend he grumbled pointing towards a bunch of pictures on table hi there is no one who catch my eye yet do you want a real girlfriend no jacob scoffs then why is it so hard to choose a girl actually just let this all girls go jen said slightly pushing all the pictures away I have someone who is perfect effect on your all demands. Everyone moved their gaze towards saying curiously, thinking who is the girl he is talking about. Who is it? Yes, she was her picture. All of them tripped. Calm down, guys. Actually, you know her very well. His smirks and they all frowned. Don't test my patience, Hank. Just tell us already who is she. When? The thing mumbles and there was a pin drop silence in Rome. The cook scoff, getting back his senses. The high school went. Dang nods. Your best friend. Ding again nods. There was something in room atmosphere. While all of them except Jungkook have a smirk on their lips. They all shared an annoying look with each other as they are communicating with their eyes. No, she can't do that. Moreover, she is not in city. He leans back, shrugging his shoulders. How you know she is not in city? He smirks and gets different on his position. She's back. Jungkook immediately looked at him with this new piece of information and his eyes sparkled. But he maintained a normal, emotionless face in front of his friends. So he done got caught. She's never going to agree with this, Sang. At any cost, you all know very well. What being you think she won't gonna agree? Actually, I'm not agree, he announced. Who was silent till now? And they all rolled their eyes. And why won't you? Because she's my cousin and more like my sister and I won't involve her in such a trashy thing like that. How could you say her to be my fake girlfriend? And apart from all that, what if anything goes wrong and she would end up getting hurt? Did you all forget already? I think I've always believed her. So sorry from my side. There is no chance. Come on, it was in past. Jungkook is not that same child anymore. He's grown a man now and he knows how to respect women. But still, hang. Hey, Jungi tried to reason, but Jin cut him off. Nothing would happen to her, don't worry. Fine, Jungi muttered, sitting back, not coming to Jungkook. What would you say? If you all are agree, then I don't have any problem to demonstrate to him mysteriously. But what if she don't agree to do this? Don't worry, I will manage. And also, she just have to be a fake girlfriend. And so, no worries. Skip. Your phone was kept ringing, ruining your beauty sleep as you groaned and attend the call without staring at screen. OTP. What? Who is it? And what do you want from me? It's me. You were sleeping at 4 p.m. in the morning. Come on, girl. Just do something else except sleeping. One half an annoyance. If you're done, I'm cutting the call. You already disturbed my beauty sleep. One mumbles in raspy, sleepy tone. Ding just draw all his eyes. When get up, I will meet you in an hour. Actually, I have to discuss something important with you. One counts. Let's meet tomorrow. Mm, yes, okay. Good night. When I will pick you before 5.30 p.m. So it's better. He woke up before I come. Oppa, when wins this? So he don't budge her. But no use. It's not going to work. Now get up. When Sai is getting up. Fine. But if I found out it's not important, I will cut all my ties with you. But Ting have already cut it the call. When snorted her nods in disbelief. When I'm 22 years old, her of pain enterprises, she just came back from America after completing her graduation. And you got up to get ready grumpily straight at 5.30 p.m. Tim came to pick her. One was still doing her makeup, so he shifted and everything, and after taking 20 more minutes, she came down, where Tim was seated already waiting for her. Finally, our sleeping beauty is ready, he said, coming towards you before taking in a big bear hug. Happily smiling. How have you been, princess? He popped it, hugging him tightly. Perfect, you came back home. Girls, I miss you, Ding, and I miss you more. Dress me. Life without you is like we're just crossing it without any fun. When giggles more. Good to hear. Now tell me, what is the important thing you want to talk with me? Things stare you from head to toe as he's checking you out.
Why are you staring me creepily? If you're not my best friend, I will throw you out by now. Tiang, you said, as you act like. You got some perfect cards and all these milky legs of yours. I will marry you if you were not my best friend. You felt your ears heated up and cheeks turned into crimson color as you bite your lower lip looking down. Is someone blushing? He teased you more and chuckled on your cuteness. Let's go, we're getting late. He mumbles, holding your hand as he drag you out with him. Where are we going? You will see in a few more minutes. He retorted. You frown, looking outside. But before you interrogate him further, you were already in front of a restaurant. He stepped out and opened down for you. Thanks, he mumbles with a smile and he put your hand around his arms as you both entered inside the restaurant. You were searching for someone as your eyes meet with him and your colors start turning paler. And before you even knew you were in front of none other than John Jungkook, your enemy who hates you the most. It's been years until high school, but all those memories are still in your mind like a fresh wound. Before you even knew, you felt your eyes to me, didn't clear his throat when he saw you were lost in your thoughts. Coming back to your senses, you blink your eyes a few times, so you won't start shedding tears and take a deep sigh, moving towards staying in cold and stern expressions. Jungle be quick. I saw Wayan after so long and forgot to breathe as I felt my breath unsteady. She still have that effect on me. I stare her from head to toe and she's even more pretty than ever before. I was in a place lost in her beauty. Right on and cooks drop drawling over her and come back to your senses. My inner voice equals so I clear my throat to word my attention. I just can't take my eyes off her, but the next words made me back to reality. May I ask why he is here? He was stiffen on his position and Tink scratched his neck, searching for a suitable answer. It doesn't matter, I will take my leave, but Tink hold your hands and Nick gritted his teeth. But he pulled it out of his grip and went out of restaurant. And he don't know what he have to do now, but he was determined that he will do it no matter what. Do you trust me? What type of question is this? He mumbles. He just answer me why and he asks again. You nod and his eyes taking a deep breath. Then trust me please. Let's sit and talk. Not with him. We can go anywhere but not here. Yung Hang and everyone will join us later. Please, let's sit and talk. I promise I will explain everything. It was not original plan but anyways, Jiang thought it's the only way Wayne is going to listen to him. As all others are also there, but originally they will see them from far. But now he have to make a little adjustment and it was not that big deal. One stare him as trying to read his mind. What are you actually planning to do? You will know, he replied smirking and one felt something is not okay. But shrugging her shoulders, she came back inside with him and sit quietly. Tang sit beside you before our texting about change of plan. Tang cleared his throat before starting conversation. When he's Jungkook and Jungkook shows Wen, my best friend. He tripped happily, but when he saw both clearing each other, he tried to change the topic. He <laughs> he. So as you both know each other already, but guys things change with passage of time. See, Wen become a young, confident, and beautiful girl now. And about Jungkook, his rich bachelors of country that every girl wants. Wen stared him, trying to know what he actually meant to say that. Jung felt atmosphere between them is still tense, so he put his hand on yours to reassure you. Look, Wen, we're not those teenagers of high school anymore. Everything changed. We're not the same anymore. He almost pleaded. Can you come to the point, Tang? What do you mean by all that? And why is he here? You go ask Jack me and Tang. And then it's his wraith. We need your help. He blurted out with closed eyes, but Jungle got in him, taking a deep sigh. Jung, let me speak. He stared directly into your eyes. Actually, um, the point I'm so sorry for my past behavior and whatever I did before. I didn't have senses. I was too naive at the time. 
Please accept my apology, he said in stern yet calm voice, as he was trying to tell you how much serious he is. One scoffs in disbelief, wrapping her arms. And when many you think I will accept your apology, Mr. John, you said while gritting your teeth. They both curved a lump in their throat. A situation is getting more tense than I have expected it could be. But when it was passed, why we have to stuck in our past, let's just move on. You move your gaze towards him. I don't believe you were the one who was saying this to him. I thought at least you understand me. Baby, I didn't mean it that way. And you will quench his jaw when he called you baby. But to show himself thinking that you boys are just friends. I'm just trying you to forget your bad memories. I'm sorry when thing almost played it. I think I will leave now, he said as you picked your bag and got up, but didn't hold your hand. When please don't go and listen to us. We really need your help. Just listen to us. You're our last chop. Are not you gonna help your opa? No, he was pulling emotional strings that he knew when I were gonna say no to as you said. Fine, only for you, Opa. I will listen to you. They both exhale sharply, relaxing a bit. Ding poked his inner cheek, processing white words to initiate the conversation. When Jungkook's parents are pastoring him to get married, then he explained everything with Jungkook for the response in the conversation in his office. I just listen to him silently without speaking anything. Okay, but why are you telling me all this? What I have relation with all that? Actually, me and the boys, you know, we searched for the girls, but we couldn't find any because no one was acceptable. So we came to conclusion, why don't you become his girlfriend? No, I mean fake girlfriend. Just for a few weeks, promise. You just have to pretend and nothing more. He blurted out in one breath and closing eyes. He opened his eyes when he didn't get any reply from you. When please say something, you're our last job. He played it with his half window eyes. And what made you think I will help you? No, may I correct? Why do we help my own bully? I don't remember he have done anything good to me. Nuclear Jungkook, who has sweat drops in his forehead by now. He just lowered his gaze as he knew you are not going to accept it and he stormed now. Because no matter what, there is no chance his father let him escape this time to get married. But before you got up, all the biggest numbers joined you as they were already monitoring everything. Sitting far from your table, but when they think things are not going more out of hands, they try to interrupt. Hey baby sister, how have you been? He smiles coming towards you and behind him all that's also greeted with giving you different nicknames and smiles, but your mind was so disturbed by now that you were not paying attention to them as you just warmly hug everyone with a faint smile. Mm, I'm just sorry, Opa. You just came and I'm leaving. But let's meet tomorrow at my place. Or what about a movie night? That could be a good idea. You gave them a faint smile that affords doesn't reach your eyes when you may try to start. Opa, I'm so sorry, but tomorrow, please. And you left the place as soon as possible, leaving them dumbfounded. But from your look, they knew very well what is going inside your mind. Skip. They all were sitting in the apartment, tension clearly visible on their faces. But what making them more tense was they could have not speak even a single word till you left from there. Jung go and take rest, Jim Jim said. He just nods and left from there as the size. He's behaving worse than we expected. They all liked it. We can't let repeat history itself. We can't let repeat what happened seven years ago. It took him more than eight months to get over last time. You can't let him lost himself ever again. I agree, and this time matter is even worse. Mr. John let him marry. She's gonna destroy our boy, and we can't let that happen. The only person, the only solution is when. But she's not ready to listen or change. I can understand her too. It was as tough a time for her as him. He'd be even more sore than him. This I savvy. But guys, I know she's also still going to the same phase. I have seen how her body reacts when she saw him. This time she entered said that she left. 
I keenly observed her every moment and our guest was right. He looked at everyone as they were talking with their eyes and they all understand knowing what he meant. So the only solution is find herself and we have to convince her no matter what because they are the only who can help each other and then need to understand. They are not responsible teenagers anymore and we can let them repeat what happened 7 years ago. Okay then it's her job. We are going to convince my aunt tomorrow. Set up a plan guys as they shared it out with Merck on their lips. Flashback 7 years ago. Don't go, Wayan, Jimin says, with your guys. Oppa will protect you, oh, my baby sister. Don't go, Wayan. Oh, will allow me when you were not drowned, when giggles with her teary eyes. I'm giving you a break, Oppa. I think I have annoyed you enough. You were the only girl allowed in our group. How would girls get jealous now if you were not drowned? Don't go, Wayan. We promise we will manage everything. Are not you even going to listen to me? You hugged him with tears in your eyes. And there was still a person who was silent all that time. I didn't say even a single word. Goodbye, bestie. You tried to hug him, but he stepped back, maintaining a cold face as he chuckled with tears. I don't know when I'm going to come back, Tang. Or maybe I will never come back. And this time, Tang looks at her eyes with his gloomy eyes. So you're going to leave me forever. Okay, then go and never came back, he yelled, and when the smile is turning towards the other direction, I just start moving towards her destiny. But the next moment, two arms wrapped around her, it was Jane, who backed her, her while sobbing. Don't do it, when it's hurting everyone, he mumbles, and some more tears made their way from your eyes, too. You know very well, then anyone here, Ding, don't stop me, and I think it's the only way to find myself again. And by that, you left everything behind. They all entered in the house in a voice he was making them hot a lot on their place. Is she left already, Hank? He mumbled incoherently, sitting on his chairs. It was a hall mass surrounded with finished bottles, massy hairs, red puffy eyes with nose. They all remained quiet and he chuckled. And that you going to fight with me, Tang Hyung? After all, it was me behind her decision. Again, Hyung, I deserve it. He mocked as yesterday, Tang, till he was satisfied, blaming Wen leave because of him. Sin came towards him as he helped him to stand on his feet. Take bath and get changed, then cook and for God's sake, stop and get back to your senses. But then cook turned him away. I deserve it, Hang. It all happened because of me. He kept mumbling like a madman. Flashback ends. Present Jung Piyobi. Sitting in edge of his bed, his whole room was a mess. He destroyed everything possible. Shattered pieces of glasses, clothes, and empty, lying everywhere. Why, why, and why? He roared animalistically, his whole veins popping out as he took and gulp it down in one go and then chuckle in next instant. I won't let you go, sweetheart, nor this time. There is no way possible you will escape from me this time, Wayan. His red puffy eyes was speaking himself. Princess, he mumbled, trailing his hand on your photo and gulp. Sweetheart, you have no idea how I have been through when you left. And you have no idea what I will do now and what I'm actually planning to do. Smirks devilishly. There is no way possible I will let you go, sweetheart, he growled. 